This video will show you how to find out how your learners managed in our tests and how to view their answers. Once you've logged into Scholar, select the Reports tab at the top of the screen and then select the course for which you want to view the report. We'll have a look at the reports for Higher Biology. On the main reports page, you will see three main tabs. A Progress tab, which lets you see how your learners are progressing through the course materials. A Scores tab, which lets you see how your learners have been getting on in our formative assessments. And finally, a Trend tab, which allows you to see your learners' patterns of working. When have they been using Scholar and how quickly are they progressing through the work? This video will focus on the Scores tab. You will see that all of your learners are listed at the left side of the screen and you can order these alphabetically or by the number of tests that have been sat. To view reports for a particular class, select your desired class from the tabs listed at the top of the screen. You might want to see the full names of your learners and their usernames and you can do this by expanding User Details. At a glance, you can get a quick indication of how many tests have been attempted by each learner from the diameter of the pie chart. If no tests have been attempted, there will be no pie chart present. If the learner has attempted all of the available tests, the pie chart will completely fill the circle. While the diameter of the pie chart shows you how many tests a learner has completed, the shaded dark slice of pie indicates to you how well they have scored in the tests. The greater the area of the pie that is dark, the higher the learner's average score. Hovering on the pie will give you the full name of the learner, the number of tests attempted and their average score. If you're interested in exploring the tests that your learners have been attempting, you can expand out the course pages. The first level of expansion will divide the course into the relevant units where you will see the pie charts again but giving details at unit level. For detailed reports on specific tests, you should drill down to topic level. And as a reminder, if you're unsure of the topic titles, you can always select the Show Titles button. Before selecting a topic to view, you might see that some topics have a little green icon. This icon indicates that a test in the topic requires some manual marking. For example, there might be an essay question and the platform is unable to mark long paragraphs of text, so this requires some input from a teacher. Let's have a look at what we see at topic level and how to complete manual marking. We are given a reminder that this topic contains manual marking, so you can select the link to view that straight away or you can leave this until later. If we continue down the page for now, we first come to a heat map showing how your class as a whole got on. A learner can attempt a test as many times as they like and our platform will record each attempt for you to see. This heat map focuses on your learner's best attempts at the test and helps you to see at a glance the questions which your class have answered really well, as indicated by the strong green colour, and those which have proved to be more challenging, as indicated by the strong red colour. If you hover over the questions in the heat map, you will be given a more detailed percentage of the questions which were marked correct or incorrect. Continuing to the table of data, your learners' names are at the leftmost column with the question numbers in the top row. The next row indicates the numbers of marks which the learner could achieve in a question. This is important for courses where some partial credit might be given if a learner is able to successfully answer part of a question. At the end of the table, you'll be able to see exactly when your learner sat their best attempt of this test. If you want to view their other attempts, you can do this by selecting All Attempts. And here in this example, you can see that the test has been attempted multiple times. Going back to the Best Attempts table, we can have a look at learners' answers by selecting the learners mark for the question. This opens a window showing both the question and the learner's answer. You simply close the window to return to the best attempts table. Now let's look at the questions which require manual marking. Earlier we saw the manual marking reminder at the top of the page, but this is also indicated by the asterisk on the question number. 
To begin manual marking, select the Go to Manual Marking link at the top of the page to be taken to the first question requiring your input. On the page, you can view the answer submitted by the learner and provide a mark by entering this into the text field. If there are other questions requiring manual marking, the next question button will help you to cycle through these. Once you have finished marking, select the Finish Marking This Test button, which will take you to a screen showing other tests which may require your input. Finally, if you'd like a copy of learner test data for analysis purposes, you can choose to download the displayed data in order to obtain the progress in Excel format, ensuring that you have fully expanded out any data you would like to explore.